People get sentimental and emotional at times for no reason. But two of you are in the same similar no, business. No, no. In- Trending exclusive topics. Only on Frankstan TV. Please do like and subscribe. It's without a doubt that 100% of the time, anyone would want to be a billionaire. But the big question is, do you think you can take the hits, the hits and the betrayal that comes from being one? This is coming after Nigerian billionaire Femi Otodelo accuses fellow businessman Tony Elumelu of backstabbing him to buying his Transcorp shares during his days of bankruptcy. This headline has caused a lot of controversy both online and offline in Nigeria. While tracing back their issues from 2005 till date being 2023, the problem the gurus have been having behind doors you never knew. So in this video, we'll be going through the untold truth, breaking down what really happened between these billionaires, best friends turning rivals. To write down, please do like and subscribe. Nigerian famous billionaire businessman Femi Otoloda has accused his colleague Tony Elumelu of backstabbing to buying his Transcorp shares when he, Otodola, was bankrupt. Otodola had said in a press statement he released on 9th of May, saying he proposed to buy Transcorp PLC for 250 billion naira, bringing the company's market value to 2 trillion naira, but this bid was rejected. He also accused Elumelu of secretly buying shares in Transcorp Hotel and outbidding him to acquire Ugeli Power Plant after he disclosed his interest in the plan to Elumelu. Understandably, those revelations have intrigued a lot of Nigerians, having different opinions about his act. Otodela's decision to get some of these things off his chest through the statement he issued has made it clear that there was more to the corporate drama that unfolded over the past weeks. In his recent press release, Mr. Otodela accused Tony Olumelu of taking his shares in the UBA, an African finance corporation, to service the interest of his loans when he went bankrupt in Nigeria. However, Otodela does not make a direct accusation against Transcorp PLC or its shareholders. If you have been following up with the news, just a few weeks ago, Otodela was recognized by Elumelu in one of his interviews on how a good friend he was to him and a great guy he is. No, I think um, first, Femi Otodela is my very good friend. <laughs> there are only two people I follow on their Instagram. And this comes to ask the question, how we went from broad romance to all-out accusation from Otodela is a matter of what is unfolding as this comes by. The accusation made by Otodela in his press release suggests there may be something, an undying issue between him and Elumelu that led to the public drama surrounding the Transcorp accusation. Otodela's accusation that Elumelu took his shares in UBA, an African finance corporation, to service the interests of his loans when he went bankrupt in Nigeria suggests that there may be something that's a breach of trust between the both of them as businessmen. And also, reading through his press release, you will understand there was a level of deception and misunderstanding involved in the negotiation between the two parties. It is possible that Otola's decision to make the accusation public was motivated by a desire to protect his reputation or to seek some form of redress from any perceived wrongdoing. It remains to be seen how this accusation will be redressed by Elumelu or the relevant authorities and what further development may arise in the ongoing corporate drama between the two billionaires. In case you are yet to read the full details of the press release by Femi Otodela, make sure you read it before the end of this video. In this aspect, people have aired their opinion on what really happened while summarizing the OD between Femi Otodela and Tony Elumelu. In summary, it has been tagged that Tony Elumelu backstabbed Femi Otodela many times. It's very easy to blame Tony Elumelu, but you shouldn't. It's dirty up there. You don't become a billionaire by being softies. Without a doubt, billionaires in the world can be ruthless. They belong to Machiavelli and Robert Green schools. You probably learned a few lessons from Robert Green's 48 Laws of Power. In case you are yet to read that book, then you should try it out. In Law 2 of the book, it says, Never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use your enemies. Law 3 says, Conceal your intention. And Law 4 says, Always say less than necessary. No doubt, Femi Otodola didn't follow these rules and Elumelu used this on him. Law 12 says, Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. In the other hand, Law 14 says, Pose as a friend, then work as spy. If you are to take track of what will actually happen now, what this revelation has done to Elumelu's reputation. In Law 17 of the book, it says, Keep others in suspense and terror and cultivate an air of unpredictability. And that is what Otodela is doing at the moment. Law 27 says, Create a cult like following by playing on people's need to believe. So guys, this is typically the analysis of what is really happening and what will happen in future concerning Elumelu and Femi Otodela issues. If you must know, being a billionaire requires a lot of things at stake. You have to be tough, no emotion whatsoever. Although Tony Elumelu is yet to respond to this, a lot of fans are pointing at him, tagging him to be the bad guy in the picture. 
But one thing is certain, you can't say for sure he's the bad guy because you are yet to hear from his own part of the story. Maybe after we must have heard from him, then you can now justify. So guys, at the moment, what's your take about this? Drop your comment. If you were Tony Elumelu's shoes, what would you have done at this point or at that point in time? Drop your comment and do like and subscribe.